Tomorrow is election day in Santa Barbara. Voters are deciding on the next mayor as well as three city council members, although one is running unopposed. And News Channel 3 Scott Sheehan joins us live from Mackenzie Park. Scott. Beth, CJ, the big thing that voters need to know is that this is a mailed ballot election, meaning every registered voter should have received a ballot by now. And mailing it back or bringing it to one of the drop boxes like the one here at McKenzie Park is the preferred way for people to vote. Ballots are already being counted in the Santa Barbara mayor and city council election. So far, about 15,000 or 26% of ballots have been tallied. Oh, dear. Oh, wow. Really? So they're waiting for tomorrow, maybe. Yes, so a lot of us are procrastinators, and hopefully that big chunk will be doing it after work today and tomorrow. Mother-daughter voters Brianne and Jamie Berg dropped off their ballot at City Hall on Monday afternoon. So today's the day. They hope those elected will help unify the community. Attitude that's favorable towards renters and towards the populace as a whole. For the people who are in the uh, hospitality, who are working right here in town, that they feel supported, and also for the homeless situation to have some really good solutions, some really caring solutions also, but effective ones. The ballot is short. Voters will have one or two questions depending on where they live. Some will only choose the mayor, while others may be voting on city council members if their district is up. Those elected will serve a longer than normal term just this once. As we're moving to an even year election system, terms were extended for five years, two years ago and five years now, so everything will even out. Then it'll be four years going forward. If a voter has not received a ballot, they can go to one of five voter service locations to register and vote provisionally. We'd welcome voters from anywhere in the city can come to any of those voter service centers. Votes must be turned into a voter service center, drop box, or be postmarked by Tuesday to be counted. There are seven drop box locations in Santa Barbara and five service centers. McKenzie Park has a drop box on the other side of the parking lot is the service center. The service centers will be open from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. tomorrow. Pouring live in Santa Barbara, Scott Sheehan, News Channel 3.